everyone! Today's project is to paint one of these sunflower rocks. Now we're just going to choose one style and I will show you how to do that, but the same thing would hold true for all of these rocks. I'm showing you a variety. Uh, several of these have stems, as you can see here, and some are just the sunflower itself. You're going to see a variety of shapes, like the round petals here in a couple of them, and the X'd off little petals in here, and more leaf type petals. Now we're just going to do one, but I wanted to show you this variety that I have, um, that I use for many purposes actually. I stick them out in the yard, and the main thing that we do is as my husband and I travel, we leave one of these rocks, usually one of these larger ones, at a campground or other significant place for people to find them. And on the back, you would find track me at sunflowerrocks.com and this is number 76. This would be placed somewhere for someone to find and they can either keep it or move it along and report it to me at my website. So anyway, with that said, we're going to just do a sunflower rock today and give you an idea of what I'm doing. These are the supplies you'll need to paint the sunflower rock. First of all, you'll need rocks. These are just a variety of some that I picked up out in the yard. River rock works the best, it's nice and smooth and you can paint about any design on river rock. The next thing you'll need is some paints. Um, I'm not real particular about the brand I buy. I've got a little bit of everything here. Different things, I don't find that one is necessarily any better than the other, but you will need a white or an off-white, a goldish yellow or one or two, however you want, uh, green and a brown of some sort. You'll also need some spray urethane. Now this is when we complete the painting and let it dry, then we spray it with this and then you're going to do the lining with your Sharpie. This says fine point but it's not a real micro fine point on there. The other thing you'll need is some paint brushes. And I picked some kind of small ones for this. These are small areas, so you don't want anything too big. Just a, a good variety. You can pick these up at a hobby store and they won't cost you much. Another thing that you will want, even if you don't use it for this project, is a stylus. Now it's a piece of wood and this has got metal on each end and that's a ball on the end of it. It's great for dipping in the paint and making dots. And then, if you are not too sure of yourself, and want some guidelines, you should probably print out from a coloring book or the internet or something um, some ideas on sunflowers. You could print these out and then put them over your rock, put the carbon between, and you could draw on there, then it would be giving you guidelines. If you are sure of yourself and you've done some painting, you won't need to do this step. But at the more you do, I believe the more comfortable you are and you'd be willing to strike out on your own. So those are the supplies you need and let's get started. Okay, the first step for painting our sunflower rock is to start with the furthest back part of this, which would be the leaves if you're going to put leaves on it. I'm going to use this color, it's um, Hauser Medium Green Americana Paint, but you could just use any green at all. Don't get too particular about getting caught up in those details. If you already have a bunch of paints, use what you have. Now, as I said earlier, if you're not confident with just painting this on here without a pattern, then by all means, make sure to trace a pattern on here so that uh, you will feel like you have some sort of guidelines. Now I'm just, I'm not going to use a pattern because I'm so used to doing these and I've done them for many, many years. I'm just gonna stick a couple of green leaves on there. I know this looks easy to somebody that maybe is not used to doing a lot of drawing or sketching or painting, etc. But I think once you do a few of them using a pattern, you'll get the idea and then you'll want to branch out on your own. There. That's just some quick, easy leaves. I'm gonna go wash my brush and then we're gonna come back and do the petals of the sunflower. 
Okay, next up, we'll be doing the petals of the sunflower on this rock. You can see where the leaves have already dried. And I have washed my brush, and we're gonna proceed with this gold. Now, in this particular one, I used Accent Brand Acrylic Country Color, and it's Golden Harvest. Get any gold, any gold that you like. You can tend more toward the yellows if you want, but some sort of a yellowish gold. Put a little bit of paint on there, and this is just, it's just a piece of paper. It's like a piece of parchment paper, but you could use any scrap of paper at all, an old envelope, just any scrap you have sitting around. That is nothing fancy. So let's see, I think I'll use, I think I'll use this brush. That may or may not be great for this. Okay, and again, if you are more comfortable, see that kind of goes over the leaf, the leaf is in the back. If you're more comfortable copying somebody else's design or tracing, then please do that. But on this, you can do this, you're just gonna go round and round in a circle and get this filled in. We have those done. I typically do not go over this with a second coat, even though you can see a little green through there and a little bit of the rock. I just think it adds a lot of texture that I do like, but if that bothers you and if you need to have that with a real painted look, then go ahead and do a second coat on this. I'm gonna go wash my brush and then we'll move on to the next step. The next step on our sunflower rock is to put the large brown center uh, right in here. Now, you can use any brown, as I always say. This is uh, Americana brand light cinnamon. I use this one quite a bit. I like this color. It has just a tad bit of red in it, um, but any brown will work. Like I said, if you already have brown at home, don't go out and buy some more paint. So I'm a big believer in repurposing and using what you have. So Nick and... Um, I was gonna say make this circle on here, but if you feel that you can't do that, then trace or draw a circle first so that you are assured that it will be the shape and size that you want if you're you know, particular in that way. I am not, it's going to be what it's going to be. And, oops, see I just blobbed it a little, so I just make it a little bigger all the way around. Some more paint, smooth that out. I mean, I know you can only do that so many times. If you do little oopses, you can only keep making it bigger just so many times, but usually it works out. So there we have it. That's all for that. And once again, I am not going to put a second coat on there because I like that rock showing through or that yellow or whatever it is. You can see it makes it look quite textured. So I'm off to wash my brush and then we're on to the next step. Okay, the last painting step is going to be to put little dots in the center of that um, sunflower. I use some sort of a white or off-white or cream or anything like that. This is Ceram Coat by Delta and it is oyster white, but again, just some light color. Just put a little dot there. This is when we're going to use the, the stylus that we talked about. Got it over there. I'm just going to dip it in. Leave little dots. I'm going to dip each time because otherwise they get progressively oops, smaller and smaller, which is fine too. Just do them randomly so they don't look so planned and perfect. There, that's all there is to it. So now we're done with the painting part of this sunflower rock. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is take it outside and spray it with our varnish that we talked about. And then we will be right back inside to finish it up. Okay, we're outside now, we're gonna spray this rock. And I know you can hear the waterfall, but just the way it goes when we're outside at my house. So spray the front, make sure you get the sides really good. And then I'm going to flip it over when this is dry, and I'm also going to 
spray the back because I like these kind of slick and shiny and smooth. Let that dry and then come back and spray the back and then we'll go in and finish up our rock. Okay, the last step for this sunflower rock is to do the lining on it. It's kind of like putting a frame on a photo where it completes the look of it and just makes it look more finished. So I'm gonna take this Sharpie. It says fine point, but it's not one of those little micro fine points. And I'm just gonna go around each of the leaves, or I should say petals. I'm gonna go maybe every other one to start with. These are gonna be the ones on the inside. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. And if it comes out uneven, oh well, like that. Okay, now let's go in and finish the other ones. Like that. Let's do this leaf too and then put like a little vein in it also. See how this lining just brings it to life? Just a couple more. Let's do this. And then the last one right there. And then we're gonna go around the center of it, just the best you can, freeform it. And then you can always go in and do like little things, like little, almost like pleats or something in it. Just adds a little bit to it, like that. That would be enough to just set it off. And this looks finished to me. So that's all there is to this project. I told you you could do it, and now it's done. So strike out on your own and um, have a great time with these. Right now, I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of examples of other sunflower rocks that I have painted over the years.